Hey guys, uh, this is just a reminder before the video starts to give me a follow on Twitch. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, and when Endwalker starts, I'm going to be streaming like all the time. I actually made this video uh, in Twitch, so yeah, if that's something that interests you at all, uh, please go take a look. I'm streaming tonight if you're watching this video right as it comes out, and I'm probably streaming when you're watching it whenever, so just drop by, and uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's up? Fur Daddy here. Today I am coming at you with a guide on how to save Gil, not just make Gil. And this is a guide on how to bypass the teleport cost in Final Fantasy. This has always been in the game, but it's going to be especially relevant because in Endwalker, uh, they are raising the teleport price over the 999 Gil cap, which means that a teleport can potentially cost you, you know, 1500, 1600 Gil, which is a lot. So uh, I'm going to go over how to bypass this using Aetherite tickets, how to obtain them, how to reach the requisite rank to get it, and then how to get the currency that you spend on them. So you don't just have to use like gold chocobo feathers. You can actually get these in game without having to use any refer a friend or anything outside of that. And it's very easy to get like a, a very large quantity of them. So uh, let's get into the video. Aetherite tickets are effectively teleport vouchers that can be bought at your grand company from the Hunt Billmaster, uh, as well as from uh, Ardalane in the Forgotten Night in Ishgard. And I have the locations of the grand company areas on the map or on the screen right now. And I have the location of Ardalane on the screen now. So this does require unlocking hunts, and I'm going to briefly go over uh, some ways for you to get to the requisite rank to have hunts unlocked. If you've already uh, got hunts unlocked, you can just skip past this part of the video to the actual buying of them, or you can just come here and uh, buy them. I'm going to be talking about how to obtain the seals in a few other ways later on in the video as well. But if you haven't unlocked hunts and you've just kind of left your grand company to sit, uh, I will show you how to level up now. So ranking up requires a certain amount of uh, your company seals here. You'll have a far lower cap if you're a lower level, but uh, once you have the amount of seals required to level up, you can just apply for a promotion here and uh, it'll allow you to rank up. Now there are a few ways that you can complete, uh, a few ways you can get company seals in uh, very quick ways as you level up. It starts slow and it quickly gets a lot faster. So uh, I'll go over those now. So the first thing you should do while leveling up in your grand company is complete your grand company hunting log. I have a link in the description uh, to this website, Dimensional Deaths, which shows every uh, location for every enemy. It's really quick, especially if you have a job at level 80, you just go to each area, blast the enemies down, and you get seals for it. Uh, it's mandatory for you to complete one of the, uh, the first Grand Company hunting log to even get to the rank that has hunts. So do that for sure. And if you still need uh, the tickets to level up, you can um, do the second and third one. And that should be... Uh, enough for you to get the levels up. But if not, I'll go over a couple other methods here. Once you have reached Sergeant Second Class, which is the rank right after you have to complete the hunting log, uh, you can go to the Serpent Personnel Officer and you can exchange uh, dungeon gear or any blue or green gear in for seals directly. There are a few really good ways to do this. So obviously just like empty out your armory chest of any of the stuff you don't want. Be careful because even if you, if you show all items, you will, you can accidentally get rid of your own gear this way. So be careful with that. Um, but yeah, so you can exchange gear here. And uh, a really good way to do this is there's certain items that come from chests that are really abundant. So for example, uh, the goddess gear, like axe of the goddess, bow of the goddess, uh, and some of the horde weapons as well, which come from the Bojan crates are really cheap And so you can buy those and exchange them for seals at a really good rate and That's just a good way to get seals in general, but uh, for leveling up. It's really really fast to do it that way and uh, Once you do that you can exchange them to level up to second lieutenant which unlocks the hunt so uh, yeah if for some reason this isn't enough for you to level up all the way uh, you can do the standard methods which include the duty roulette um, doing fates and things like that. 
uh, as well as if you're a crafter, you can do the, the standard turn-ins as well to get seals. But uh, the first couple methods should be enough, and those are way, way faster than doing anything else. So I highly suggest doing those first, and then just topping up with the other ones. There's also an, a couple quests you have to do along the way, but uh, once you get to second lieutenant, then you have unlocked the hunt. And you've also unlocked the uh, the person that you can purchase the... Um, the eighth ray tickets from so yeah i'm gonna go over a few ways you can get the seals very quickly now so the first way to get seals is just by doing it in the intended way which is through uh s rank and a rank hunts and you can get uh notifications for those if you join the aether hunts discord uh there are other discords for other data centers that i will provide in the description and they're really great you basically just like pick a role it gives you the role and then uh from there you can uh, just get notified every time there's a hunt train and they do hunt trains for centurio seals and allied seals although not as frequently as the current ones uh they still do them so that's one way to do it so the other type of hunt that is uh, more single player that you can do is uh the hunt boards that are in each area right by the bill master you can do the regular ones although that's not a lot of allied seals and these are like really low levels as well but uh, more importantly, you can do the weekly ones, and those also give you allied seals. You can also get Centurio seals by checking out the hunt boards that are posted here in Ishgard, as well as here in Kugane. If you followed my last guide and leveled your uh, blue mage up, and you did the mass carnival, you may be aware that you can actually get uh, allied seals for every level you complete of the mass carnival. So in completing that, you will get 100, I believe it is, for each one of the uh, levels. But also, once per week, you can go back and do uh, three of them for a varied amount of allied seals each. So that can top you up uh, if you're not doing hunts and you need to do them. And I'll show you an example right here. So if we just enter the Mass Carnival here, you can see that every one of the ones that I've done, uh, I've gotten 50 and then 100 for each of them. And these ones give you, this one gives you 200. And it goes even past this, but I haven't gotten that unlocked. And then you can redo them for a weekly reward of 100 seals, 150, and then 300. So that's like a big amount uh, that I suggest you do if you are interested in Blue Mage at all. And I will provide resources in the description that allow you to complete them. Most of these ones are really easy. Uh, like if you just want to get a one-time like nest egg of Aetherite tickets, the ones that I did here that I've shown on screen, all have like gimmick mechanics that make them super super easy to do so i suggest you uh just read through the guide that i've linked in the description it'll show off some of the really easy ones to do that you only need like one spell for or whatever and uh yeah so that is a really really fast way to get a huge amount to begin with and then every week you can go through and do these and that's like a fun weekly activity to do to top up your seals so this is the outro of the video uh, hopefully this was really helpful to you. I know for me just personally, like having this little bit of allied seals makes it so I don't have that passive gill loss just like happening when I'm playing the game. I don't feel like, like when I see the 999, when I go to Kugane, I don't like wince anymore when I see it. Uh, so it's a good peace of mind and I think it'll definitely be really useful in Endwalker. Uh, so I highly suggest you guys do this. It really doesn't take that much time at all. And if you don't have like hunts or anything like that unlocked, uh, this also gives you the opportunity to do that as well. So yeah, uh, that was the video. Um, please leave a comment on what kind of videos you want to see before Endwalker, whether you want them to be like more preparatory stuff like this, or if you want to see like a guide to Boja that will help you out if you want to like do catch up stuff before Endwalker. It's really just a few weeks away, so I only have a few more videos to make. Uh, if I upload once a week and then yeah when Endwalker comes out I'll be uploading like pretty much every day and streaming every day my twitch is in the description again so uh yeah thank you guys for watching my video and showing so much support on my channel and I will see you guys uh, next week